Uh, my experience with Platika in, in, in five senses. One, uh, I don't think they're a reputable company. Two, uh, making contact with them, they don't get back to, to, the, to the people. No response. Uh, three, I think they're a scam artist company. I, I think they don't care, you know, they don't, they don't thoroughly, we're supposed to be protected when you use your card, so I don't think they even care. I mean, I, I think a two-year-old kid can go on there and play this if they're able to. Um, four, I, I think they just, they need to be regulated. And five, uh, I just generally think that they're just a very, very, very poor company, uh, the way they're run. Well, my, my case is a little different. Uh, I had my computer hacked into a few months ago. I had caught a bad virus in my computer, um, caught the virus. It turned out to be uh, hackers going into my computer. Uh, I keep everything stored there, my bank information, my debit cards, all my email accounts, uh, uh, my PayPal. Uh, they used three or four, I believe it was four different debit cards to play this World Series of Poker and used all my money, over $2,000. Uh, it's been a nightmare. I started the process. PayPal, finally, after about a month, they gave me a full refund. My bank had given me um, a temporary credit while the investigation was going on. So I went ahead after PayPal refunded me, and I, and I have the paperwork here you know, all the different paperwork where they, I was refunded and stuff. And they pretty much, my bank called me a liar. And, 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 and not so many words, but this is what they said. After an investigation, they, they, they sent me a letter saying they were reversing. They found nothing wrong in their investigation that supports what I'm telling them. And I told them, are you crazy? I showed them the refund from PayPal. My other, one of my other cards started doing the refund. Uh, and they said, just because PayPal gave you a full refund in the other card. It doesn't mean that you were hacked. And so I wrote the Better Business Bureau. I wrote the uh, Consumer Protection Financial Consumer Financial Protection um, place. I also went to the Attorney General's office and did a complaint. And I finally put a complaint in, which is this is the seven-page complaint on Pataka, this holdings in the, the San Diego holdings. And uh, they have totally ignored me. I sent them email after email. They about, about two months ago, they did refund about four or five charges directly. And I showed them, this is where you saw that, I, that, that it wasn't me. And now when I sent the rest of the charges, they, were, they just won't talk to me. So I had to go as far as doing this complaint with the Better Business Bureau out of Texas, out of, out of California, I'm sorry. And uh, that's where we're at now. I mean, I'm trying to recover a lot of money here. So, And they're just, I don't understand this. They're just a terrible website, man. I mean, they're just... The way they treat people, they won't acknowledge you. They you send emails. Uh, I mean, I had business better business bureau send them direct emails with my complaint, and they just totally ignore everything. So I, I don't know at this point uh, where we're at. Hopefully, this week we'll have some good news. That's all I can say. So on that matter, I got you. Um, I represent a website called BestConsumer.com, where one of your reviews shows up. Um, what is your main goal behind placing a review on Best Consumer? What would you like to achieve? Uh, I want people to be very careful. I mean, there are people that I, I read some of the reviews on there. There were stories of people are in a bad nightmare where they're trying to recover money, charges that popped up on their debit cards and their bank card statements, uh, uh, whatever you know, whatever bank account they had, and they're not recognizing these charges. And and I would like to see, first of all, I like to see this company be regulated and the government to step in or, 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 or law firms to step in and either shut this place down or they got to, they got to be accountable. It's all about accountability to me. You know, you got to be accountable. You know I mean? I'm not saying everybody, everybody here is, uh, is going to be telling a hundred percent of the truth, but I guarantee you 85% of the people that are raking these plays are legit, you know, based on, on, on just what I've read, you know, and it's terrible that, that our government allows this, these big four to 500 companies, you know, they, they, they support all the politicians and they get the backing and the people like us, the middle class and the poor people, they get, they get no help. They just get looked at like, okay, see you later, move on to the next, next, next month. You know, that's how I feel. So uh, I think we're in a very tough time. 
uh, our government is just, they don't take care of the people the way they should. So I live in Florida. So with this, with this coronavirus and this unemployment situation and, and going on, it, it's bad. It's just real bad how our government is treating the, the Floridians down here. So I started the proper chain of command. I went directly to my bank. Like I said, my bank, after 10 days, issued me a provisional credit. And they said, there's a provisional credit for, for, for $495. This was just a one account. And we'll let you know if it'll become a permanent or if the investigation, we decide that we're going to take it back. So in that course, I noticed I went to start going to all my accounts. I started, you know, I started going through everything. It took days and it actually took month, a month and a half. And I go, oh my God, look at all these charges out of my PayPal account. So I wrote PayPal. PayPal actually refused after three hour this thing's a three hour investigation, which I don't know is impossible. And I know for a fact that this 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 Platica uh, holding place, there's no way they responded to them because they didn't they don't respond to nobody. So I knew PayPal was lying. So I got very upset. So I went to Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and I wrote a complaint against PayPal. As soon as PayPal received that complaint, I went into my PayPal account. Two hours later, and all the charges were refunded. I mean, I had to go to that extreme. So I said, okay, well, I, that's fine. If that's what I have to do, that's fine. I, I know it's not going to be handed back to me easily. I'm going to have to fight, which is a shame. I have to fight for my own money. But that's just how life is. So that's when I, I, I started sending all this paperwork to my bank. They reversed it. All of a sudden, I get a thing, a letter saying that all the charges of the 495, they're taken back out of my, out of my, my direct deposit. I'm like, what are you kidding me? I'm on disability. I get uh, less than a thousand dollars a month to pay my bills. They crippled me with what was taken out of my account. So my wife suggested I, I, I go to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So I started there. I had to write individual complaints against all, it was four debit cards, PayPal account. And they, they, what they do is you put the claim, they review it, they decide if, if, if they should go further. And they, and they accepted every one of my claims because I, I, I presented all the paperwork showing them that, listen, I even showed them a test for my computer with the virus, the type of virus that hackers use. So I know 100% I can look myself in the mirror every day and know I'm the one that was someone stole from me. So the other day I get a letter from the uh, Business Better Bureau saying, um, here's, the, here's the response from your bank. My bank says they feel and they talk to me that there was nothing wrong in the investigation that they're not re re going to reverse the money back. So I rejected that. And I, that, I said to them, I said, listen to me, you're going to sit here and let not only was I robbed by hackers. Now you're going to let a Fortune 500 company just straight up become thieves and let them rob me by not giving back my money, which is a shame. So. That's where I'm at. I, I went to each individual place first. I went to the bank. I went to each debit card. I tried there. Like I said, I was successful with PayPal. I was successful with another debit card. Not, I'm still waiting on $160 charges that show that were refunded, but haven't got back to my card. Um, but there's still over $1,500 in charges that haven't. So then I filed the complaint directly with, with, with the World Series of Poker. And like I said, I've got no response. And now I, I, I filed a complaint with the Consumer for Protection Bureau. They forwarded my complaint to the California Credit Business Bureau, and that's where we're at now. It's all it, it, all the stuff I turned in. They're sending it to them, and 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 that's they're waiting for a response from them to see what's going to happen. Like, like they had access to my bit, my 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 emails. Um, they had access to all my everything was my whole life was stored in my computer. You know, I thought that you know in, with encryption and the way they say you're safe. I was safe. Obviously, you're not safe from anything today. Um, I was just totally scammed by these hackers who became me. They basically stole my identity and went onto these websites uh, with Lataka and uh, open accounts. I mean, they opened five accounts, and, and that's what they did. So they used five. They, they, they five, I'm sorry, four accounts. They used four different debit cards, so they had four different accounts with that company. So, and then I did get a response in the beginning from Lataka telling me. Well, this is what I need. We need to know the emails. So I sent them all that information, what emails I see that they were that they, they used the mine, and I never got a response back. When I give them what they wanted, that was the last response contact I had with them. So I I, I don't know where my, my final step is I'm gonna be going to the Attorney General in California 
the United States Attorney General, Florida Attorney General. Uh, that's going to be my last resort because if I'm not going to be protected as a consumer, you know, as a, as, a, as a person who spends money, as a person who who pays taxes, you know, my right. I pay taxes for over 35 years. I worked at the same job. I got I, I got this on disability. If that they're not going to protect me, I mean, I, I'm here by myself fighting, you know. And I'm not going to give up. I mean, I'm going to get my money back one way or the other. So, uh, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Well, I'm suspect. I'm, my my solution. My hopeful solution is that they realize that with what the proof and the evidence that I have presented, that I am a victim. I don't care about their website. I don't use their website. I am just a victim of of of, of a scam artist. That my money should be. For, they're protected. I mean, money is protected. FDIC insured with every bank on the regulation E of the banking code. I'm protected. They're supposed to give me back the money. It's all insured. They're, it's not like they're just giving me money that they're not going to recover back. So that's my expectation. I should be I'm hoping to be fully refunded. That's how long it takes. I don't know, but that's that's my expectation.